Lord Org and welcome to my single player server and here we are a bit of nostalgia here back to where it all began my very first video not counting the carry dancing one I mean the one that started the series of videos I've been doing it started off with this my gravity trap now I had a question sent to me by let me just remember this it's one for the win seven he asked how I did the wiring on this, uh, my gravity trap, because he kept getting one door open, one door closed. So I thought I would do a little video answer for for him and as well explain. And then if anybody else wondered, then you would also get the answer here. As you can see, I have actually changed it a tiny little bit more. I uh, don't just use the. Uh, I don't just use the. Um, oh well, I can't remember the names, but I use the re redstone repeaters now as well. Uh, mainly just so I can make the doors open and close together. They didn't used to. They uh, used to actually be the one on one on one side used to be a little bit quicker. So uh, I've changed the timing of them. This isn't changed at all. This one, this one's run at full speed. This one has been moved on one tick, and by doing that, it makes the door the doors open at the same time. It's not vital, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change the outcome. The mobs are still pushed off, but it does just kind of make it look better when you flip the switch and they both open together. So uh, I'm gonna take you up here. And it's, oh, wait there one second, I need to, I need to get some ladders. So I'll just go along here. Quite like this little area, it's out of the way. Good place to have a little hidden base. Uh, I've got some a lot more work to do down here. I've got some. Uh, I'm going to build some kind of mob trap using pistons, but I haven't had time to build much of it yet. So, kind of just setting everything up right now. And yes, I've been mining with dynamite to clear it out, which helps. I've, told, I've got the ladders, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to need them. But I've got about I'll take a good amount of soil, so that uh, if I don't use the ladders, I can still get up there with the soil. I don't know which I'm going to use yet, so I'll use so I'll take both. Okay, so back to business now. In fact, to be honest, with you, I probably don't need the ladders. i will probably best use the soil. So anyway, as I was saying, again, to show you quickly, as you've got your redstone um, repeater, as you know how they work by now, and as you can see, that is on one tick. It doesn't need to be. I mean, like I say, you don't need these. You really don't need to put these in if you don't want to. I haven't got this one moved at all. This is just really to make sure that they uh, open together. It's more for looks than anything. It doesn't actually make anything better happen. But... Uh, Oh well, I suppose let's get to business end. There is a delay, of course, because of course the lights have got to change going all the way up. So uh, you do get a tiny bit of a delay, but well, not much, it's only about a second. But as you can see, it's the usual vertical wiring, so it's what, um, torches going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, etc., going up and up and up. And uh, then, of course, once the switch is thrown, they reverse. And that's how you get what you need to happen, happen. All right, so we take you up there. As you can see, just showing you again, look. So we're on and off on the uh, torches. Oh, can I see? Oh, and you can see it there too. Just a good view from there. Look. On, off, on, off, on, off. So follow this up. One for the win. Uh, just keep just really keep just copy this it should work for you just take this up to the top and the last torch has to be off as you can see the last torch is off which means that the redstone is also off to the to this door now you have a problem with the other door switching off but as you can see if the last torch on this side is on then your redstone state is on so that that reverses the door so uh, show you how that one's off and that one's on. I had to uh, just put this in here as you can see. You can, you can copy what you see here, it will work. And uh, But as you can see, um, 
an on torch was the last torch and it put the redstone wire on which made it so the door was reversed which is why they both closed if I then right there one second I'll show you the rest of the wiring the rest of the wiring is basic very basic there you go it's just slow just go straight to the block what the door is stood on no no the comp no nothing more complicated than that straight from the torch straight to the block and uh, on the other side on the other side exactly the same I'll show you again on this side one second Let's go around here don't fall off I'll just fill that back in one second might as well do it while I'm here okay one last look now so over here last torch was on but putting everything onto the on state putting the wire onto on state and of course that then goes the same goes to the block with the um, door on it so that uh, it reverses now as I say, you might want to try this. It's up to you. Uh, it should work. This does for me. If you need, by the way, to know anything about the inside, let me know. I will do another video and actually take you inside and show you the water flows again. You probably got that worked out, but you know the offer's there if you need it. So, uh, right, I'm just going to cut now, and then I'll we'll be back down on the ground. One second. And here we are, back down on the ground, where it's nice and safe. That's the way I like to be. Anyway, so remember, one for the win, it's just a simple case of make sure the last torch on one side is off. And make sure the last torch on the other side is on. And uh, that will reverse the doors for you. And then it's just a case of bring it all the way down, lead it off from the torches back towards the uh, lever and just flick the lever and it should do it if you want to use redstone repeater then feel free and uh, you can get your doors if you wish to open at the same time but there you go that's the answer anyway if you need to know anything else i'll just switch the day there we go just cut there because <laughs> just sleep time but if you want to uh, anything else know anything else say about the water flow or if you need any more information about this please do feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Now, real quickly, before I go, I figure I should show you in action one more time. So I've switched the mobs on. I've given them enough time to spawn. So let's just go up here and take a look if there's anything ready. Yes, there is. I've just seen a creeper's legs. There's, yeah, there's another creeper coming. Uh, is there anything against the door? Let's have a look. Oh yes, very busy. I can see a few zombies, about probably four, five, about four creepers, two or three zombies, another creeper there, spiders. Oh, they're all coming. <laughs> very good. So let's one more time show you how this one works when we activate it, because it looks like these are all getting a bit cramped, and oh, that's not nice. So let's give them a bit of fresh. <laughs> fresh air oh oh nearly died that's the quick way down okay here we go and this is what happens when you get the doors opening right yay here they come <laughs> yay just remember though if you have skeletons drop through even though they're falling to their death they will still try and shoot you so make sure you're ready for that Spiders. <laughs> I have actually had spiders survive before. Well, one. I had one spider once. It must have been some kind of Terminator spider. It just survived the fall and ran at me. And I did shoot it in the head with a with a bow, but still, it you know, there you go. It shot at me, missed, but shot at me. <clears throat> so yes, that was spider died, but yeah, it did well. There you go. Look, they keep trying to shoot you. Yeah, very good. Anyway, there you go, guys. You've seen it working now. You can see it works just fine. Oh, I was also asked about how to make them spawn in the box itself. Make sure that you don't have a cave underneath the ground. 
level with your box. If you do, go under there with a load of torches and light it all up so that they cannot spawn in there, which means then they have to spawn in your box. That should sort it, I hope. So, that's it. I've showed you everything now. And if you need anything else, like I say, let me know. And I will do what I can to answer it for you. So, one for the win. I hope this helps you. So, remember all, take good care of yourselves. And goodbye for now, my friends.